Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, more importantly, welcome to a very blustery, cloudy Tuesday morning over here in Chiswick. We're in West London today. We're finally getting in the pool with the Mark II uh, to get the transmitter hooked up to sort of see what the range is like. Uh, we're obviously here with the guys from Mike's Dive Store. Anyone that watches our videos know that we do a, a lot of reviews with them and big supporters of those. But more importantly, we are with the guys from London School of Diving. Uh, they're very kindly letting us use their pool today to do the um, range test on the pod. Now, I haven't only got the Mark II. Hang on, let me just get the Mark II. There we go. Mark II is on my wrist. I've also fashioned up my old review bar and I've got the Garmin Descent Mark 1 on it, I've got the Shearwater Terek. Obviously the Terek is area to greatest, we're gonna get that hooked up to a transmitter as well, and uh, we'll see how they both lay up under the water. Uh, but more importantly, I've just been handed this, it's in my pocket. Um, it's the only one this one in the Atlantic. Definitely won't let me keep it. But here we've got the Garmin Pod. Very, very excited, very, very excited to see what happens. So I'm gonna head in now, because it's absolutely blowing a gal and I'm freezing cold. So I'll see you in just a second. While I'm getting set up, let me give these guys a quick shout out. The London School of Diving is London's premier paddy dive school and is a paddy five-star career development centre. They boast their own purpose-built heated scuba pool, meaning you don't have to train in a public swimming pool. And being located a three minute walk from Gunnersbridge tube station over in Chiswick, they are easy to get to and also provide ample parking if driving. Check them out in the details in the description below. As many of you will know, we've been long time supporters of Mike's Dive Store. Their customer service is outstanding and in 2019 they were voted the UK's number one online scuba retailer with their slick and impressive website. Check them out for all of your scuba and snorkeling purchases, underwater photography and imaging, and equipment services and gas fuels. And of course, being conveniently located next door to London School of Diving means you're not far away if you want to get your new purchases wet. Just a quick reminder on how the new Garmin air integration works. Above the water, the Garmin Descent Mark II connects to the Garmin T1 pod using the Ant Plus system. This is the same technology that Garmin use in their fitness and heart rate monitors. The magic happens when you start to descend on your dive. Once in the water, the subwave sonar technology kicks in with the data transfer between the Mark II and the T1 pod every five seconds. Garmin are now claiming that the guaranteed range for connection on the final production models will be a whopping 10 meters, making this absolutely perfect for buddy diving. So we're now in the pool. We've got the rig with the dive computer set up onto uh, my GH5 Nauticam housing, all ready to go, there we see. Uh, I've already plopped a tank down in the far corner and it's got the uh, Terek transmitter attached to it and also the um, the Garmin pod. I've got to say it was really, really easy to, to uh, connect. It was literally just going into the dive uh, setup, uh, clicking on the transmitter, it found it straight away. Um, I wasn't anywhere near it, I was probably about two meters away when it connected. It's all connected, all valid goods. It's, it's showing my air on the dive computer. Uh, I've got my um, reel that I said I was uh, going to bring along. And what I've done is I've measured out about 10 meters by one meter. Uh, it's the best I could find when I was at home this morning, but I've got some black electrical tape. And I've just marked it out at one meter intervals. Uh, and what I'm gonna try and do is connect the end of this to the tank that's got the transmitters on it and we're going to see how far we get before either of the dive computers drop out of range so let's see how we get on Thank you. 
Well, I've done that roll four times. Four times I've gone back to measure the distance. Every single time the Terek dropped out around about two to three meters. I was actually surprised how far it went. I think it, it literally got to the three meter mark before it completely dropped out on, on two of the occasions. And the other two occasions have run about two and a half meters. But the Garmin pod, um, I've done four runs with it. I got the first run, I was at the end of the pool, which is 11, 10, 11 metres. Um, the second run, it, the comp dropped out at about 8 metres. And then the other two, I've got to literally the 10 metre mark. I've, I've counted nine of these back in, uh, and then you've got the metre left back on the end. So I've lit, that's literally one run at 7 metres, three runs at 10 metres, which is absolutely astounding. What I'm demonstrating here is the range of the Ant Plus connection. The T1 pod is attached to a pressurized tank and I walked over to the opposite corner of the pool room and despite being over 15 meters away, the Mark II I is still connected to the transmitter. If you haven't seen the review video that I recently posted on the Mark II and Mark II I, make sure you check it out because there is a ton of useful information in it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll pop a link at the end of this video and I'll also pop it in the description down below so make sure you have a read. But there are a few things that I want to call out in this video. Number one, now I'm fully aware that diving in the pool is not the best way to test the range of a transmitter. Ideally, this would have been done on a sea dive with another diver who also had the T1 pod so that we could both connect and get a good reading of each other's range um, at depth. Sadly, the lockdown that we're now in again, lockdown two, uh, the weather, the time of year, all kind of put pay to that. And this was really the best situation that we could come up with at the available time. Number two, it's worth calling out that the T1 transmitter that we use in this review video was a working prototype. It's not a final retail unit. They don't land in the UK until the end of November when they're due to go on sale. And as I said at the start of the video, this is the only one this side of the Atlantic. Uh, now, if you've watched the review video that I did, that I posted for launch on the Mark II, Mark II I, I said that you could connect 10 pods to the Mark IIi and it had a range of five to eight meters using a subwave technology. Garmin has since revised that, so since it launched for sale, they've revised that and they've now confirmed that you can, can connect five pods and it has a guaranteed range of 10 meters. So considering this is a working prototype, I do expect the final retail units to be much more consistent in delivering that 10 meter 
um, range between the uh, um, transmitter and the dive computer. Number three, now I was and I still very much am massively surprised at how well the Shearwater Terek performed with the range test on the transmitter that I had it connected to. Now I wasn't expected to get much more than six to nine feet of range really, so maybe a couple of meters at best. Um, but in actual fact, when I watched back over all of the footage of the four runs that I did, it actually it was lasted around about three to three and a half meters on each run. Whether that would still be the same performance at depth, I don't know, but I just wanted to call it out that actually the Shearwater uh, Terek did much better uh, than I thought it was going to. And finally, my final point, point number four, well actually there's two parts to this, but I'm gonna lump them together because they both relate to the transmitter itself. Now, connecting to the transmitter, I found really, really easy. The transmitter was on a pressurized tank about two or three meters away from where I was, but using the Amp Plus system, I just went into the um, settings, clicked on search, it found the transmitter straight away, allowed me to connect to it, it took no more than 10 seconds. But there's a really cool feature in there called Identify. Now, if you select Identify, the Mark II I emits a two-tone beep, and then immediately afterwards, the transmitter that you're connected to also emits a two-tone beep. And that's just kind of really a reassurance to make sure you have connected to your pod and not someone else's, which I thought was a really nice little touch. Overall, guys, I am remarkably impressed with the Garmin Descent Mark II I and the T1 transmitter. You know what, remember, this is Garmin's first attempt at air integration, and straight away it feels like it's streets ahead of what the competitors are doing. If any of you have been deliberating whether to buy one or not, or wondering what you should do, if you're asking my advice, you know what, you are not going to go wrong with it. I know it's expensive, but for me, it's definitely worth the money. Now, there will be a few more videos to come on the Mark II I. I want to cover a video where I go through the dive data screens and tell you how to configure those, and also do the reviews that I spoke about in the last one where I compare the Mark II I against the Mark I Descent, and also the Mark II I against the Shearwater Terek. So hit that subscribe button, click on that little bell icon to be notified when they are uploaded. But for now, listen guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you found this video of use. If you have, give it a little thumbs up. But for now, thanks for watching and I will speak to you very soon. Cheers.